Catching rings freehand requires practice, but it is not as difficult as it looks. Let me show you a technique that I often use in front of customers. Hi, I'm Yasmin, author of The Magic of Jewelry Illustration. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. I like to use a mechanical pencil with HB lead for sketching. But you can use pretty much anything from soft pencils, colored pencils and even pens. Whatever works for you is fine. One of the exercises that really helped me to be able to sketch rings in perspective is drawing different ovals in different angles and sizes. They might not be perfect in the beginning. Just keep on practicing and eventually the ovals will look great. opinion, a rather narrow oval in a 45 degree angle works best for rings. So definitely draw several of these. Okay, it's time for our first band. It will be a D-shape. Create a narrow 45 degree oval first. Then draw the width and profile of the band. It kind of looks like a larger oval connected to the sides of the smaller one. Make it more even by redrawing the lines. Inside we will see a small empty space between the in and outside of the ring. You can also try this version. Draw two narrow ovals next to each other. Connect the ends with an arc on both sides. Part of the upper oval will not be visible. This part is considered a construction line. I only redraw the actual ring without the construction line. Because of the angle and width, there will be no empty space visible. Now, a narrower band using wider ovals. Here the empty space is quite large. To make a sketch more attractive, we can add shading. The inside of the ring is curved and the outside domed. I will add the shading accordingly. If you would like to learn more about shading surfaces, please check out my books. The link is in the description.
cast shadow. This will make this ring really stand out. Try the same using different drawing tools to find out which style suits you best. Here an example using black pencil. Then black pen. Let's now try a different band, a flat band, which has a rectangular profile. I start with the inner oval. Then I draw a larger oval around it. This is the metal thickness of the ring. The D-shaped bands we created before do not show metal thickness as they have a D-shaped profile. Now I add the width. The walls are straight and the upper part is parallel to the metal thickness. Inside we can see empty space. The inside and outside of the band is curved. Hence I add shading on the sides. The metal thickness is flat. It shows three areas of shading. This is a quick basic technique on white paper, but if you use colored paper the sketches will look even more professional, as we will be able to add highlight and not just shading. I start with a D-shaped band on grey paper. First I sketch the outline using a graphite pencil. I add shading and complete the inside using a black pencil. The highlight will be white.
last step is the cast shadow. Then a flat band using the same technique. Part of this video are speed drawings of several bands using a more complicated shading technique. I will not go into detail regarding the location of highlight or shading, but you can copy the position. I cover the rules of highlight and shading as well as cast shadows in my book The Magic of Jewelry Illustration – Jewelry Design Essentials. The next band is concave. It shows metal thickness like the flat band, but the sides are not straight. Instead, they are curved inwards. called a halo. It has a round profile and is domed on the in and outside.
are a few finished ring sketches. Try different paper and different drawing tools. Experiment with different styles. Sketching is very personal and the signature of every artist. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.